So as you can see, you've got this bit of code here, which um, I'm going to comment out for a second. This bit of code simply uh, puts our mouse where you want it once it finds a color. Now, to make sure it's scanning properly, I'm going to put one just within the for loop so it calls it every time. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And then the next thing we need to do, I know we called it Counter Strike at the beginning, so let's look for Counter. Yes, yeah, so there you go, Counter Strike Source. Now, as you can see here, you may have. I'm going to comment this and put it on the side here. I recommend you do the same. Um, you see what mine's called here? RGB Windows Photo Viewer. So I recommend you write that. Yours might be different, but just right click and go preview RGB Windows Photo Viewer. And hopefully this should work out. If we type something wrong, it will let us know by not allowing us. See, look at that. Look at that beauty. So as you can see, um, yours might be skipping a few frames, but the mouse is scanning exactly where you want to be scanning. You can move your mouse to the side, it doesn't matter. It just keeps scanning anyway. So you, as you can see, it's scanning that exact part of our of our screen. So that's what it will do in the game. Now, um, as you can see, it only scans the center part, like that calculation I told you about earlier. It doesn't scan the whole thing because that would be a waste of resources. So we're going to press delete to close that because now we know that that's working as we want it to work. So I'm just going to. Um, I'm going to leave it as that for now, actually, in case we want to test something else. Um, so let's look into our scan BMP again and get rid of that set cursor pause there. Let's comment this out here. You guys feel free to delete it and just put this one back in. Um, yeah, I believe that's fine. I'm happy with that. Now, what are we missing? Let's think about this. One quick thing I also forgot to test that I really wanted to test. It's kind of essential. We don't want to have to fix this error later on. Uh, you see how it's got set cursor pause. I want to find exactly what um, this image has got. So I'm going to take a print screen like we did earlier. So print screen, I'm going to load up my paint on it uh, quickly. So here we are, paint on it. I'm going to paste that print screen, expand canvas, whatever, I don't care. I'm going to do a quick uh, dib dab of that. Click more here, 00255. So I know that that is. 00255, I'm happy with that. So technically, if we were to uh, go through this loop, uh, I believe we should be able to find, I'm just gonna get rid of this, uh, put this one back in. We should be able to see uh, if it, yeah, so technically it should be, press delete again, it should be stopping here, okay? So it should be stopping right there. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, and hopefully our mouse will be stopping around there a couple of times. So come on, please find it, and that is a problem because this should be locking right here, I assume, unless our compare color isn't matching. So let's go up to our compare color. Where is it down? I don't know where I put it. Yeah, there it is. So NP equals height. Blah, blah, blah. If it pixels are less than 30, red and green is less than 30, and and blue. So um, system. I'm gonna put system pause here just to see if it's calling. Now we want to make sure we don't have any stupid areas. Uh, errors. Uh, so, as you can see, it's not actually detecting jack chisels. Now, this could be something wrong with our actual screenshot. So, I want to try and figure that out quickly and help you out, guys, out with that if you made that mistake. Also, okay. Whilst looking for the uh, thingy error, I found another small problem, which isn't an actual error, but we want to call it here as well. Uh, so, just have system CLS. Make sure you do that one there, so it keeps requesting for the window beauty of the Fleep's failing method of copying and pasting tells us that we had an error. When we are copying the uh, the uh, thingy here, get DC, and when we are copying the bitblt, we copied something that we shouldn't have. So here you shouldn't have that. So get DC, I'll see left. So whilst I was testing this to make sure the pixels were being checked for, good thing I checked for that because it's essential. This screenshot BS is very essential and very uh, critical because you know you miss one thing like you've just seen and there you go the whole thing's gone so as you can see here I put a little STDCR and I think this is quite essential if you want to do something like this just so you can output the uh, pixels that you're detecting now obviously this is only a debug thing so obviously don't keep it uh, but I'm just gonna try and see if this works this time so I've put like a sleep of 100 milliseconds so we see exactly what pixels being detected so let's hopefully see this in action so as you can see 255 255 255 uh, one thing I want to do here though is um, I've put the sleep here. I'm going to bring this down to something like 20 milliseconds. Um, we'll compare color here, compare color here. Um, 
and also we're going to set the cursor pause here so that way we know where the mouse is hovering that way we know exactly if it's on the right one or not so let's do it hopefully we should see the mouse and the pixel being detected so as you can see there look at that that's green that's green beautiful and I don't know if it's going to touch blue but it should be high in the third number so a 250 there you go look at that so it found blue it found the blue we were looking for and it stuck with it so as you can see 00255 so that's a solid strong blue which is exactly what that is so it stopped there so it scans again oh I found the color that I want let, let me stop and let me scan again okay and that's pretty much it there and that's exactly what we want now I'm not going to test this in the game yet because you guys can do this just fine I'm just going to cancel this here you guys can do this fine that's not something I want to do with you guys what I do want to go with, so I'm going to comment these two out you guys feel free to keep them uh, get rid of the system pause here because that will slow everything down uh, what I do want to take you guys through is through the improvements we'll do the improvements and then I'll test the game once and I'm sure it saying that will just jinx me but hopefully it'll go all right okay so let's uh, just go over the improvements okay so I said I probably wouldn't but uh, I think it's a good a good time to test our thing so let's just copy this I'm gonna leave this commented here because it might come in useful later for some sort of small test uh, but we're going to do a quick test of the game just to make sure it's okay so um, what we have here uh, well what I'm going to need you to do my counter strikes just below here so I'm going to run it and then I'm going to double click this this is the hack that I'm going to use now I don't know which version of uh, counter strike you have uh, I'm going to create my own server which should hopefully not get you vac banned at all now uh, when we do create the server hopefully we'll turn off vac to make sure there's no cheating involved and we do not get banned so for those of you that have a legal copy please be careful my copy is not a legal one well it's like 90% minus 89% illegal legal I mean so uh, whoever's trying to come after me screw you I'm not admitting to anything um, so that uh, aside I'm just gonna run the game mine's copy is version one point something it's a very old version I think uh, but it's enough to do what we need to do so what I'm gonna do I can't show you this because it will really slow down the fraps but I'm gonna double click this and once this is double clicked I'm gonna call this right now actually as you can see this there you go there it is the injector uh, as you can see it this is by Nacker apparently this is not my work but it's a very nice very good uh, injector we just need the cams from them so I'm gonna start off uh, counter here we are the game um, and um, it's 1.49 in the morning I'm just doing that to so I know where to edit this from uh, guys so I don't want you guys to worry about that um, just make sure you go to uh, scan BMP right I'm telling you this by thingy and just before you, below your for loop just below the X plus plus part make sure you comment the set cursor position because we don't want the mouse to be all over the place whilst it's moving uh, okay so what we're going to do is going to go create a server now if you're hack injected you'll see this at the top here now if you press insert you should see a bunch of things so you press insert it's a very nice looking hack by the way whoever created this and all I need for mine I chose chameleon models and I chose the SP health bar that's just so it gives me an idea don't turn all of them on please um, so that's that there Oops, press it so again turn it off to make sure you put those on at least now please do not use this online or, any, or anything like that so server and replace include CPU bots uh, obviously we're just doing a normal server so uh, hope, no chance of getting vac banned here um, okay so starting from a step so I've just got all my settings done it's nothing special what I'm going to do is I'm going to say bots jointing counter terrorists now remember what I said to you at the beginning make sure you install the uh, bots for counter strike source so um, I haven't I've installed mine a while back so make sure you have yours uh, this should have been in the file make sure you turn uh, turn off CSS whilst you're doing it so I'm just going to choose the dust to test mine in uh, make sure they join counter terrorists first choose any weak ass weapon that can't cause you trouble but they're going to be on your team so it should be alright so here we go loading the game hopefully it won't crash on me come on here we go I think we're okay so what we're gonna do once the game is loaded we're just gonna run the hack okay because all we want to find out is if it's following the uh, thingy oh crap nah there's no ban involved screw you service vac secured my ass uh, okay so okay um, uh, CT forces uh, so I'm just gonna choose the same team as them okay so here we are um, I'm just gonna do uh, doesn't really matter what weapon I've got this is just you know convenience uh, so here we go here I am so I've run the hack I've put it counter-strike hopefully it should 
run, there it is. So no problem finding the game. So it should be looking for the color blue now. Oh look at that, you see that some movement there? Look at that. There you go, same for the head. So as you can see this obviously hasn't got any improvements yet, but as you can see it's following them. I've turned the sound off, but as you can see that there you go, it's a bit slow, you know that's fine. But uh, it's following them, that's what we care about, okay? Once we've got our improvements, it'll be much more smooth. Like that. Falling just behind him. It's not great, it's not bad either, though. But that's it, pretty much. That's that in action. So there you go. It's a bit slow, but that's fine. Um, okay, so that's that done. So we'll stop the check in of that here. So you guys should have the same. If you don't, try and maybe go back a little bit in the tutorial and have a look at what, what we did. Okay, so now what we're going to work on is on the improvements. Now, these are very important and essential uh, if you want to have a decent performing uh, program now the stronger you the more powerful your computer is the better this will be so if you've got like an i7 processor or something powerful like that you're gonna be able to you know just get the most out of this uh, aimbot so if your computer is a bit old that's fine too you just won't be able to get that much for example the smoothness when you're going after one and you'll understand why when i do this so um i'm just gonna do um just gonna go here and I'm gonna check out what am I supposed to improve it. Setbacks over here. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is gonna go to scan BMP and we're gonna improve this now. Um, so here we are. Just do one more. Here we are. So I'm gonna show you how to improve this now. I'll try and explain this fairly quickly. Um, so let's just hold this. Commenting out, getting my code for this, by the way, guys. Just making sure I get it. Um, I mean, threaded, that's it, that's it, so do that and comment the whole thing, and there we go. So, what we've got to do here, so uh, scan BMP that is, once this uncomments itself eventually, there you go. So, scan BMP horizontal, or mine is, uh, time to screen scan, and yeah, there you go, I found it. So, what, what I've got here is uh, something that you can use to improve your thingy dramatically. So, the um, so where's compare color? There you go. This here's a statement. We say insert equals x. So I want to write the code first, and I'll explain to you what it does. Uh, if you still understand it, which uh, I'm sure some of you guys will. Int. Um, although that isn't always a must, but that should probably be put in. Scan. Uh, RC render right. So it's just the usual right minus left. Okay. So just put that in. Uh, Minus, uh, trying to remember exactly what this does. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Just get the right thing. So while and that, that's divided by four. Why is that divided by four? I don't remember any of this. Uh, let me try and remember what I was doing at the time of the murder. Um, everything goes in there pretty much except for set cursor pause. Well, the whole thing doesn't go in there then, I guess. Okay, so while Z is less than... Uh, yeah, so what we're doing here, we're saying, whilst... So we declare Z as X, because that's just... We're using that to loop through. So we find the first pixel. So I'm better off showing you this with the example. Do we have the example? Yeah, let's let's use this as an example. Let's say we're looking for pink. So we're going here, we're scanning, we're scanning, we're scanning. Say we found the first pixel. That's pink. That's fine. Now, in a normal game, that would be the side of the player's head. Okay, and that's dangerous because you shoot there, you're highly likely to miss. Because all it takes is they do a little step to the right uh, or to the left. Uh, well, if as long as they don't look and in, walk into your bullet, you they're gonna miss. You're gonna miss. Sorry. Um, so you miss. So what we're doing is we're saying, look at this one. And then within this while loop, keep searching, keep searching, keep searching, keep searching, keep searching until it's no longer pink. Now you found uh, it gets to here and it says, "Oh, hang on, it's no longer pink; it's just turned green." So then what we do is we we grab that, okay? Uh, so we ser search until the limit, and then once we find that, we grab that and we say, "Well, find out where exactly." Um, is the center of this so the center of these two points so let's imagine this is a player's head because it's a perfect example so it gets here oh I found the beginning of the head let me look to the end oh there's the end of the head now put it right in the middle so what we say is find the exact center point between here and there and put our cursor right here so you're not only aiming at the side of the heads you're aiming at the exactly 
center point of the head you see which means you're a lot more likely to hit the, the shot okay so that's what we're doing here uh, so we do while and then we just say if not compare color 